डॉक्टर अमर वेंके फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट के आई टी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑटोमोटिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ आई सी इंजिनस दिज आर द्लॉड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स सो दिस कोर्स लर्नर्स विल एबल टू लर्न Uh, various important aspects of automotive electronics uh, such as uh, automotive basics uh, ev mechanism then sensors and actuators in automotive automotive safety standards uh, vehicle onboard and offboard diagnostics so our today's agenda is a classification of ic engines and these are the objectives understand the importance and need of ic powertrain then study of ic engine types and their operation uh, explain ic engine components and its operation so this is the outline of today's discussion classification of ic engine uh, based on cycle type then classification of ic engine based on fuel type classification of ic engine based on engine configuration flat or horizontally opposed engines then radial engines then classification of ic engines uh, ic engines can be classified uh, based on uh, several parameters such as method of ignition the number of strokes the type of fuel used the arrangement of cylinders and many more uh, each classification has its own set of advantages and disadvantages and it is crucial to choose the appropriate type of ic engine for a specific application to optimize its performance and efficiency then classification of ic engine based on cycle type uh, ic engines are classified based on the type of cycle they follow uh, there are two main types of cycles the auto cycle and the diesel cycle uh, this is according to cycle type Uh, engines that follow the auto cycle are called as petrol engines okay so we can say that uh, the petrol engines uh, they are of auto cycle type uh, while those that follow the diesel cycle are called as diesel engines another cycle uh, known as the dual cycle uh, is a combination of auto cycle and diesel cycles and it is used in some engines classification of ic engine based on uh, fuel type uh, ic engines can be classified uh, based on type of fuel uh, used in them the fuel type plays a significant role in determining the uh, engine's performance efficiency emissions and operational cost Uh, broadly ic engines uh, can be classified into two categories based on uh, type of fuel used uh, that is si engines and ci engines uh, spark ignition engines and compression ignition engines then classification of ic, IC engines based on engine configuration the classification is based on motion of the engine components that convert fuel energy into mechanical energy then inline engines in an inline engine the cylinders are arranged in a straight line therefore they are called as inline engines this configuration is commonly used in uh, small cars and motorcycles 
then v shaped engines in a v shaped engine the cylinders are arranged in a v shape therefore they are called as v shaped engines this configuration is commonly used in large cars and trucks then flat or horizontally opposed engines in a flat engine, the cylinders are arranged in a horizontally opposed configuration with two banks of cylinders facing each other. This is in horizontally opposed configuration. This configuration is commonly used in aircraft and some high performance sports cars. Then radial engines, uh, in radial engine the cylinders are arranged in a circular pattern around the crankshaft, uh, therefore they are called as radial engines. Uh, this type of configuration is commonly used in aircraft. Then there is one question under reflection spot. Uh, in the above discussion, we have discussed the different types of engines. Uh, just pause the video and think on which type of engine is used in a four-wheeler vehicle. So the answer is SI and CI engines, they are widely used in uh, four-wheelers. You might have thought on uh, various types uh, such as uh, single stroke, two stroke and four stroke engines etc. The correct answer is SI or CI engine. Uh, any four wheeler vehicle consists of either SI or CI engine. Uh, this is the correct answer. Most of the vehicle uses uh, four stroke engine. Uh, for its operation and the main function of the four stroke engine is to convert chemical energy into mechanical energy. Uh, to summarize this lecture, uh, any four wheeler vehicle uh, which has either SI or CI engine have four strokes to convert chemical energy to mechanical energy which is then coupled to the wheels of a car and car starts moving. So this is the end of lesson number 2. In lesson number 3, you are going to study CI engines, uh, difference between SI and CI engines. Thank you very much.